New tonight, every year millions of people receive vaccines. These vaccinations are designed to keep people healthy. But sometimes things go wrong, and when that happens, patients can only seek recourse at what's known as vaccine court, a government program run by the Department of Health that compensates the injured. Investigative reporter Angie Marcondo takes a closer look at how it all works. If you've never heard of vaccine court, you aren't alone. The Overland Park, Kansas man you are about to meet had a terrible response to a flu vaccine and even became paralyzed for a short period. Effie Kamara didn't know this government program even existed until he heard about it from his friends. Tonight, Effie is sharing his story about rebuilding his life and what he thinks about vaccines today. Effie Kamara is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. He showed us his woodworking collection. Amazing bowls and creative projects that look one way, but another angle tells the full story. That's also the case with what happened to Effie. A man who was hospitalized, even paralyzed, and doctors searched for days for the reason why. Some of it was very painful. Some was emotionally hard. In the matter of a week or so, he was totally unable to do anything by himself. From eating, going to the toilet, brushing teeth, talking, closing his eyes, almost he couldn't do anything. Oh, I didn't know what's going on. Um, I felt that I'm getting more and more paralyzed. Uh, more uh, things didn't work. Doctors diagnosed Effie with Guillain-Barre syndrome. That's a medical condition where your immune system attacks the nerves. It's incredibly rare. Scientists link the onset to infections and surgeries. It can also be a reaction to a vaccine. Effie had a flu shot six weeks before. His doctors say that flu shot triggered this rare response. Couldn't move my hands, couldn't do that. Uh, eventually, I, they put eye drops on my eyes because my eyelids were so weak. These hospital photos and videos were taken by Effie's wife. She began posting to family and friends what happened to her husband. Effie also had a stroke while recovering. It was weeks in the hospital and then months of recovery. Recovery was a good thing for me. It was uh, inspiring. I, I don't know how to explain it. Effie credits his faith, family and friends for all of their support. But it's pretty obvious his outlook played a part. Effie has mostly recovered, but there is permanent damage from the stroke. There were tough moments, especially when my dad had the stroke and he couldn't communicate. Effie and his family eventually heard about Vaccine Court. The real name is the Office of Special Masters of the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. It's a no-fault system for litigating vaccine injury claims. Said we were lucky to hear about it. I don't know if we wouldn't hear about it through our friends. What our situation would be today, it would be very different and very, very stressful. Since 1988, more than 18,000 petitions have been filed. Around 11,000 were dismissed. More than 5,700 claims of injuries eventually led to compensation. Total compensation over the life of the program is approximately $3.7 billion. You may not realize it, but if you've ever had a vaccine, you've helped pay for that program. It's 75 cents for every vaccine, and that's how the program is funded. Here's a closer look at the number of claims patients have filed with the vaccine compensation program during the past 15 years. Things really hit a peak about a decade ago and then leveled off. Of course, not every claim is awarded money. This is a look at cases where injuries led to compensation by year. In the past few years, the numbers have jumped to the highest levels. It's been more than 600 cases per year. Yeah, I was one of the statistics that got heard from a vaccine. Effie's family has not changed their outlook on vaccines. They are grateful for a streamlined government program, which compensated them for an incredibly rare side effect. Everything in life has side effects, whether you get on the road and you might be in a car accident or you take an Advil and it's bad for your liver. Yeah. So you always have to know the good and the bad. And I think vaccines for society are really good. Effie's life is different today and a bit slower. He no longer has the fine motor skills to carve his beloved wood, but he's grateful <laughs> for his recovery. That's a good. 
We'll keep digging into your medical concerns. We're looking at how people are using GoFundMes to pay their medical bills. And we're looking at illnesses versus injuries. Why does that label matter? Well, it matters to your insurance company. The fight for health care continues. Angie Bracono, KCTV 5 News.